It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. So off we go then. He's got options out wide. Gets into some space. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Chance to end the finish! Goal Finland! The breakthrough strike! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Finland have an early lead. Good start. Played in with accuracy. Finland are already ahead. The perfect start. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your opponents at the same time. And that pretty much sums up the difference in what we've seen. One team assured, the other a little unsure. Gets it back. Finland are oh, very much in charge here. Dominic going for goal! Back of the net! And already they're looking to run away with it. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Finland take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. <laughs> Referee's given a throw. Hoists it forward. Oh, that's nice. Great leap! Yes! All too easy! They are in danger of this 
disappearing out of sight. Well, the cross was inch perfect, and the header unerring. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Thirty minutes gone. Referee has his flag raised for offside. Gets it upfield. Oh, shooting chance! Back to the frame for the keeper. Decent ball. Too much on it and out of play. Helps available out wide. And now they can launch a counter. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And it's easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward. Halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change in the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Finland very much in control here, three up and cruising. And we're already back on the way here. Played back in. Looking for space out wide. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Cuts it out. Tries a shot! In it goes! Yet another goal! performance they are in complete charge uh, it's a keeper's nightmare Peter he just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late having so many bodies in front of him Become a case of men against boys. And the weighted pass. 
hefty challenge, but fair enough. Gets wrestled off the ball. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Gets into a dangerous position. He's made sure that that won't get through. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. That's a throw. Time for a change in personnel. needed to be better than that and he knows it and out to safety Whip. up he gets good offside that time Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. That will annoy the manager, they're making themselves too predictable here. to add to what has already been an incredible haul. Listen, when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference, why he's off? His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he can feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. Finland tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. The message is clear, none shall pass. He's got options out wide. Tries to get it clear. And ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Now, can he capitalise? He's gone for it! And the shot! They've done it! Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb.
Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Well positioned to make that interception. Now a chance to break. Oh, he shoots! It's a goal! This is as ruthless as it gets. Yeah, by the looks of it, there may be still more to come. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now, the only doubt is how many is coming. Plays it out to the wing. Out to the left it goes. And that's that. Finland enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect, comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. Your final thoughts, Jim? Finland simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predictable.